Afro-Negroes and Latinos to tell you your true heritage that you are the biblical people that's in the Bible. Okay? Your true heritage that you're the Israelites. Okay? And the reason why the condition that you're in is because you broke the Most High's laws. You must return back to your heritage and who you are as a people. Okay? Three. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving think, thanks to God and the Father by him. So everything we're going to do, everything we're going to say is going to be out of the Bible. So any questions you have, it's not out of our word, but according to what the Bible says. Okay? Can you read it one more time? Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Right. Give me uh, Colossians 1 and 25. Colossians 1 and 25. What's up, brother? Colossians 1 and 25. Colossians chapter 1, verse 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Even, 26, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. So this word is being made manifest to the true people of the Bible, which is you so-called niggers and Latinos, okay? You lost your heritage to who you are as a people, okay? You've been taught that you as Africans, but you're not. But you're the Israelites according to the Bible, okay? This is the mystery that's been hidden for ages, that you are what? The biblical people of the Bible. That's right. That you're the Israelites, okay? You're not black, you're not African American, you're not Puerto Rican, you're not Haitian, you're not Dominican, okay? Read. Again, Colossians chapter one, verse 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. Amongst the who? Amongst the Gentiles. Amongst the who? Amongst the Gentiles. So meaning he's going to make this, his known who his people are amongst the Gentiles. Many of the other nations are not the Israelites according to the Bible. Many of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's okay? Right. That's what he said, amongst the Gentiles. So anybody that's not of the 12 tribes of Israel are the Gentiles, are heathens, according to the Bible. Okay? We, Which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So that's your hope, you so-called Negroes and Latinos. Your hope is who? Who you call Christ? Okay, a so-called black man according to the Bible. That's right. Okay, we. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Right, and that's what we're trying to do. Wake up you so-called niggers or Latinos to your true heritage that you are the Israelites. Give me Isaiah 29, 29 and 10. Okay, you got to wake up out of sleep. You so-called niggers been sleep for so long. Okay? A lot of our people are destroyed, man. It's time for you to wake up. That's what the Most High said. Because he's the one that put us to sleep. Okay? Now he's waking us up. Okay? Isaiah 29 and 10. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And that's what you want. You're in a deep sleep. You're in a coma right now. Because you don't know who you are as a people. That's why when you look at your neighborhood, you see our people destroyed. Because the Most High set us in a deep sleep. Really? Uh, and uh, for the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, has been has he covered. And the vision of all his become, um, excuse me, and, and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. And that's what's been sealed. But now the Most High is waking us up, okay? The Most High is starting to wake up his people. That's why you see all destruction around the, the earth right now. That's right. Okay? 
Y'all think it's Mother Nature. No, the Most High is doing all that. Okay? Who do you think, if he created the heavens and the earth, don't you think he created the, the, the world winds, the hurricanes, okay? The, the earthquakes? Volcanoes. Okay? The volcanoes? The Most High does all that. Okay? You have to understand that the Most High controls everything in the earth. Okay? Go to uh, Romans 13 and... I think it's 11. Romans 13 and 11. Okay? You're going to find out. You so-called niggas and Latinos going to find out that you are God's people. Okay? According to the Bible. Okay? And Christ is coming back only for the 12 tribes of Israel. He's not coming back for the whole world. Okay? We and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So our salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay? You so-called niggas and Latinos. That's why the Most High sent us out here to what? To wake up you so-called niggas and Latinos that want to be woken. That's okay? Right. Right? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. So let us cast off the work of darkness. Like something as something is little as smoking weed. Okay? You're in darkness, brother. Or robbing or stealing. That's darkness. Okay? Because all these things are what? To destroy our minds and our body. Okay? And the most high is telling you to wake up, man. Wake up. Yeah? And let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly. As in, in, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh, for fulfilling the lust thereof. Right, because you got all sorts of lust in the earth right now that our people are battling. Right now, a lot of y'all battling smoking weed now, okay? The white man now opened up a lot of the cannabis stores. Now you, you're free for you to go smoke weed now. Okay? And a lot of you just getting it and destroying your body. Okay? Not just smoking weed, but a lot of sorts of things that's, that's ailing our people. Okay? Like shrimp, crabs, all these things that our people eat. Okay? That's why the Most High is telling you to wake up, man. Okay? Because you lost your, your manual, which is this Bible. But you lost. Okay? You got something on that? Okay, give me uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Deuteronomy 4 and 6. Okay? You, you, you can sit there and smoke that weed all day. And the most high going to destroy you by what? Giving you cancer. Okay? Right in your, right in your lip. Okay? That's right. Hey, you uh, Huh? They puff the lights. Yeah. That's all right. The most high going to kill them. That's all right. You got that, bro? Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. That's why when the other nations come up to us, they don't have no answer. Because we come out of the Most High's Word, which is this Bible. Okay? We found our manual who we are as a people now. Now we know who we are and the reason why we're in the condition that we're in. Okay? You read it from the top again? Keep, therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear, hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right. That's why we tell you to put the weed down, okay? Put the weed down for it to destroy you. You look at your community, our uh, people are destroyed from smoking that stuff, okay? Now the white man got a hold of it and said, hey man, I can make money off of this now. Bring it up. Okay. You got to wake up. Give me um, Psalms 79. Psalm 79. That's, that's why the Most High got to destroy this place. Because he, he's not going to have that in this kingdom, man. Your brothers ain't going to be smoking weed in the kingdom. Like you think. Okay. Wait. Oh God. The heathen are come into the, thine inheritance. Thy holy temple have they defiled. Right. They've defiled our holy temple, which is our homeland, which is Jerusalem. But not only that, the people, which is you so-called niggas and Latinos, they're scattered. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
They have laid Jerusalem on heaps. The dead bodies of thy servant have they given to the meat unto the fowls of the heavens. That's why the Most High will punish these nations when he comes back. Y'all think when Christ come back, it's going to be John 3.16. But y'all understand John 3.16. Bring it up. Okay. Read. The flesh of thy saints unto the beast of the earth. Their blood have they shed like water round about Jerusalem. And that's what they did during the history of our people. Okay? That's why the Most High said, vengeance is mine. Okay? That's why you see the things that's happening to the earth, all the shootings and stuff like that. Okay? Bring it up. Now the Most High is putting the affliction on them now. That's why I tell you, brothers and sisters, you ain't got to do nothing. Just keep the law, statute, commandments of the Most High, and the Most High is going to fight for you. That's right. You're going to see the death and destruction around you. But the Most High says it's not going to touch you. Okay? Really? And there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. Right. And you see that. I don't care where you go. You go from New York back to uh, Oakland to, to San Francisco. That's right. Okay? The heathens are around about you. Okay? Good. How long, Lord, wilt thou be angry forever? Shall thy jealousy burn like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee. Right. That's why they haven't known the most. They don't know the most high. They think they know the most high. Okay? That's why you see this destruction around the earth, man. Because the heathen don't know the most high. Okay? Now, the God that made the heaven and the earth, if he punishes all people for not keeping his laws, what do you think he's going to do to the other nations, the heathen nations? What do you think he's going to do? Okay? Done. He's going to bring punishment upon them. That's right. That's why you see a lot of the shootings in your so-called white neighborhoods. That's right. Okay? The Most High is putting the spirit upon them for those things to happen. Preach on, that. Okay? Go ahead, Doc. That's why I say we ain't got to do nothing. Just keep the Sabbath, keep the laws, okay? That's and right. you're going to see destruction around you happening. Okay? Good. Pour out thy wrath upon the heathen that have not known thee, and upon the kingdom that have not called upon thy name. So America has not called upon the Most High. Okay? That's why the Most High got destroyed this place. Okay, and the Bible tells you that the Most High gonna wipe this place right off the map. That's right. Okay, it's gonna be a puff of smoke. Okay, the Most High gonna de destroy America. And we're trying to tell you, so-called Negroes and Latinos, you better wake up. Okay, come to your true nationality, start keeping these laws. That's right. Okay, of the Bible. Yeah. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his dwelling place. Right, so when we say Jacob, Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. They wasting Jacob every day. All the shootings that you see that the brothers getting shot by. Okay? You are Jacob, you don't understand that. You come from the lawyers of Jacob. Okay? We. Really? Oh, remember not against us for former iniquity. Okay, excuse me. Oh, remember not against us former iniquities. And that's what our forefathers asked. Remember not our iniquities, Father. Okay? We know we broke the Most High's laws. That's why we went into captivity. That's why we went, that's why we went into slavery under the so-called white man. Because we broke God's laws. Right. Okay? That's why our forefathers said that. Remember not our iniquities. Okay? Yeah. Let thy tender mercy speedily prevent us, for we are brought very low. Yeah, we are brought very low as a people. Okay? We have no homeland, no language, okay? We don't know where we, where we came from as a people, okay? We Help us, O God, our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us, and purge away our sins. Oh, sorry, what, what? Purge away our sins. That's what our people are in the midst of. We're in the midst of sin. As simple as a sin like today, like today is a Sabbath day. Our people are not supposed to buy or sell on the Sabbath day. That's right. That's a sin according to the Bible. Okay? But our people don't know that. Okay? Now you know it now because you're speaking out in the street. Okay? Now the blood is on your hand. Okay? We And deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? 
That's what they say. Where is your God? Even our people that come up and we're telling the to the Israelites, where is your God? How can we ever get us out of this captivity? Right? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the re revenging of the blood of thy servants which is shed. Let the sighing of the prisoners come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach. You, you see what the most high is going to do? He says sevenfold, man, unto our enemies. Read, read those last two verses again because they'll never read this in the churches. Read. Chapter 11. I'm, I'm sorry. Chapter 79, verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die and render unto our neighbors sevenfold into thy bosom. So it says render unto our neighbors sevenfold to our neighbors. The ones that's torturing our people day in and day out. Hey, they are so-called neighbors. Right. Yeah. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. So we, thy people, and sheep of thy pastor. He says, it says, we, thy people, the sheep of thy pastors. Bring it up. Okay? That's what you so-called niggas have to, the Latinos have to understand. You are the lost sheep. You understand that? Our people are lost. L O S T. Okay. Yeah. So we, thy people and sheep of thy pastor, will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Right, and that's what we're doing right now. By opening up this Bible and showing the praise to the Most High to our people. Okay? Showing our people who they are as a people. Bring it up. Okay, give me Proverbs 6 and 23. Proverbs 6 and 23. Because we come in day and out, whether we're in East Oakland or West Oakland or downtown, teaching our people the truth according to the Bible. Okay? So. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp. For so the commandment is a lamp. Okay? Let's picture in your mind a lamp, right? Yeah. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And the what? And the law is light. And the law is light, like homosexuality. That's in the law. We ain't supposed to be doing that. Okay? Shrimp, crabs, robbing, stealing. That's all in the law. Okay? Those things help you see. So you don't stumble over those things. Okay? Read. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And reproof of instruction are the way of life. So that's, that's, our people don't have instructions. Reproof. They don't know how. Okay? We'll be trying to show you according to the Bible. You who are as a people and get yourself in order. Okay? The men got to get in order. Our women got to get in order. The children got to get in order. Okay? Good. That's right. To keep thee, to keep thee from the evil woman. From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Right. That goes into all women and it goes into a strange woman, which is the heathen nations. Okay? That's right. Like I said, wake up, man. Read that verse again from the top. 6, uh, six and 24. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instructions are the way of life to keep thee from the evil woman. Right. Give me our second Corinthians. 3 and 16. 2 Corinthians. Um, 2 Peter, I'm sorry. 2 Timothy. Yeah, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. My bad. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. So like I said, we come out here every every week to show our people according to the Bible. Okay? Who they are as a people and what they must follow. Hey, all right. Did you okay? see... Um over in Hawaii, how that lava was going slow. We was talking about it last week. Oh, yeah, it's a slow. Now it's going fast. <laughs> Most I sped it up. Right. <laughs> it, it was like a slow death, man. Yeah. He sped 16. up that lava. Yeah. Yeah. Second Timothy 3, verse 16. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God 
and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof. For what? For reproof. For what? For reproof. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. That 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 the man of God may be perfect. Maybe what? May be perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And that's what's missing amongst our people. Okay? That's what the most High says. Read from the top again. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God. So all the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation is got is given inspiration by the Most High. Okay? What? And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof. For what? For reproof. For reproof. Okay, to set yourself in order, man. Okay, that's what the Most High is trying to do. Yeah? For correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect. Maybe what? May be perfect. So-called niggas and Latinos may be what? Perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's what you that's what's missing amongst our people. Okay? We gotta come out of the madness of America, man. Okay? Wake up! Well. Good night, so too much about who you are. Did you ever leave a gun? I have destroyed all the enemies in your past. I will make you a great name among the great ones of the earth. I will assign a place for my people in Israel. There I will plant them, and they shall dwell in their own land. 